So you wait for years for an Archtop ukulele review to come along and then another one comes along straight after it. Keep watching. Yeah, it's got a ukulele review day again as ever. This is your summary video review. If you look at the link below the video, you'll go to the website and you'll see the full details and specs, photographs and scores. Um, you'll also see at the bottom my usual thank yous each week for people who help keep the site running. Got a ukulele is not paid by the brands or the stores to do this. The reviews would not be impartial if I was. Um, so therefore it only keeps going due to that generosity. Thanks so much to those people. And why not think about subscribing to the YouTube channel and hit that little bell symbol, you'll get notified of new stuff coming your way. As I said in that introduction, arch tops, I'd, no, I'd not reviewed one before. It'd been years since I'd first seen one. And last week, got to have a look at the Carla arch top. A uh, bit of a disappointment on the acoustic side and wasn't particularly authentic as an arch top. And sure enough, after not having seen one for years, another one comes along immediately the week after. Uh, it's, gonna, it's a bit unfair to do a full comparison because they're different scales, but this one is the Ortega R-U-S-L-H-S-B um, arch top concert. Um, and you'll see from it that there's a lot of similarities to the Carla instrument, uh, a lot of similarities, but one really big different one, and that's about that authenticity. They are both uh, instruments are made from laminate wood. This is all laminate pressed into the arch on the top and the back, but this is pressed uh, laminate flamed maple, uh, which is rather nice. Two pieces on the top, two pieces on the back and two pieces on the sides and there's a bit of flame going on stripe tiger stripe as you can see in the wood which is rather attractive but the big difference here why this is much more authentic is because this uses the traditional arch top style bridge and tailpiece in mandolin style so basically the strings run over this walnut bridge holding a bone saddle and there is actually there are actually grooves in the top of that saddle over which the strings pass that spreads the spacing out about 40 mil down there and then they come back together to this tailpiece where they're tied off the advantage of that over the Carla is the Carla had a regular tie bar bridge which creates tension that way pulling the strings this way this transfers compression down into the soundboard which is said to be better for sound transference and sustain and things like that um i much prefer the look of that uh it, it just looks so much more real really and it is it is real it doesn't move though it's not a true floating bridge and i'll come on to why i'm in a moment but still that effect of downward pressure is still going to be there uh, as i say they tie off here on this mandolin style tailpiece which is a copy of an old gibson uh mandolin tailpiece and really really stiff plate cover on the top of it good lord very very hard to get off but that means it's not going to rattle and that's where they're tied off and that's how i know it's a mandolin tailpiece because you'll see there's a lot more little notches there for tying just four strings uh you could fit about 10 on there actually um so yeah, that's a mandolin tailpiece. The decoration is what Ortega call honey sunburst, and I don't like it. It's far too yellow for me. I much prefer the kind of old-timey look of the Carla sunburst. Um, that's my first gripe over the Carla, and that's it so far. Um, finished in the satin, neatly done, really well built and put together, to be fair. Um, I just, it's just too yellow for me. <laughs> Decoration around the top and back edges, also less gaudy than the Carla because it's just little wooden, uh, wooden uh, binding strips with black purfling. I think it looks much classier. Um, and the reason why that bridge doesn't move is, again, exactly the same gripe as I've got with the Carla. On board, active system, far too much wiring, too much weight, ugly panel in the side of your instrument that you don't need. Just give me a passive because that, by running to an under saddle strip, there's a wire coming through into the bridge, so the bridge couldn't move because there's a wire there and a hole. Uh, give me a spot pickup under here so you can move the bridge. Uh, it's just another reason why I'd, I'd have a passive on one of these. There we are, I'm sure it works just as well as the Carla, it's just a pickup in it. Um, all right, so the body's nice. Up to the neck, this is made of a kume wood. Uh, also, much nicer feature than on the Carla is it's got a true cantilever over the top of the soundboard so it's not pressing into the, and interfering with the top uh, the Carla had a sort of built up wooden block painted black to make it look like there was a gap 
there is actually uh, a gap here. I much prefer that. The neck is three pieces. There's joints in the obvious places, but they're well hidden by this um, sunburst effect. Um, it's too rounded on profile for me, typically Chinese, but it is 35 mil uh, G, uh, uh, nut width and 28 from G2A. That's wider than the Carla, which was a tenor, and this is a concert. So a smaller scale instrument, wider nut. That's going to matter to a lot of people. It certainly matters to me. Topping that uh, fingerboard made of walnut in good condition, no problems with it, a little bit pale looking. Uh, 18 frets with 14 to the body. You get outward facing dot markers at 5, 7, 10, a double at the 12th and one at the 14th unusually, and they are repeated with dots on the side and these swing tags are really starting to annoy me. Uh, beyond the bone nut, all set up quite nicely here. Interesting enough, uh, Ortega headstock shape there. Uh, more of the flamed maple facing that, and the Ortega logo looks quite classy in a screen print. Uh, looks a bit like a snail, doesn't it? Um, interesting enough, the tuners, very generic, quite cheap looking uh, gold plated gears with small black buttons. That maker's label and model number on the back is ugly as sin. Um, and there we are. And then finishing it off, you get a set of Aquila strings, uh, but they're Ortega branded Aquila strings, but they're Aquila strings. And a really nice padded gig bag with really good quality strong zips, as you can see. I really like that. My other problem with the Carla was the price, because I was seeing some of them, some shops selling them for £350. Um, this is about £190. Significantly cheaper than the Carla. Um, it's significantly lighter than the Carla. This is 600 grams. It doesn't feel hefty like a, a lump of lead like the Carla did because the soundboard top is also quite thin compared to the Carla. In fact, it's very thin compared to the Carla. Um, all things considered, pretty much everything improves. The only thing I prefer the Carla on is the look of the body sunburst. This is just too yellow for me. This is more authentic in the bridge and tail piece. It's got the more authentic cantilever over the top. It's got the wider nut. Uh, it's not got the gaudy plastic pearly bindings around the edge and down the edge of the neck. Um, it just looks more like an arch top to me. And it's a third of the price down on the collar. But we're going to have a play. Um, and again, there's a pickup on this. I'm going to plug it in, but it's not really going to show, tell you anything. It just plays it a bit louder. Um, as I say, the collar was kind of disappointing on acoustic tone. Felt like it was strangled, like there was a bigger sound trying to get out, but something was muting it. And I have no doubt it was to do with the thick top, and I have no doubt it was to do with the um, bridge. Um, this is volume wise. Good. It doesn't feel strangled. It feels much more responsive. It's, it's very bright. to it and I say that a lot about cheaper laminates that they can sound a bit boxy and a bit sort of um, echoey <laughs> for want of a better word with this one though I think that's kind of possibly deliberate that's what arch tops sound like we're not quite in tune there are we or is that the intonation Intonation. Mm -hmm. 
So as I say, plugging it in, it's not really going to tell you anything, it's just going to play louder. Very loud, sorry. Um, there we are. I'm not going to do more of that. The volume across the strings is even, it's set up properly, I don't have a complaint with that. But let's just move back to that Carla and give you a side by side. Sounds all right, but this has just got more life to it. You don't need as much effort to dig in to play it. It just sort of comes to life more. It's got that echoey tone, but I think that's something to do with it just being an arch top. Um, it's an awful lot cheaper, it's an awful lot more authentic looking, so it gets a much better score than the Carla. £190, the Ortega RUSL HSB Archtop Concert. Uh, if this was in the regular Sunburst, I'd probably buy one for myself um, over the car. well certainly over the Carla. The colour is not for me, that's purely very, very much a subjective thing, I get that. Um, but otherwise, it's... Um, it's just a much better deal. I think Ortega win the day on this one. I saw one website call this the Carla Killer, and I fully understand why, because it's just better. Um, yeah, enjoyed that one. Gets a recommendation. Um, nice work, Ortega. Rather like that. I am back next week. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. Go very carefully, uh, and see you very soon. Take care. Bye-bye.